On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Garnier. I am Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew? He was canceled. Was he? I don't know. Oh, for the, um, like a stereotypical French accent? No. Oh. Because he was a little too, um, a little too aggressively into the women's <laughs> Oh, he was like stalking and them. And he would like kiss her on the cheek without like, and she'd be she- like, ah. You're right. Get away from she me. She didn't like that. No, it was, um, <laughs> we frown on that behavior. There was not much consent <clears throat> with Pepe Le Pew. Well, I, um, I will go not ahead. To <laughs> <laughs> this here is Frank. Um, we didn't forget about him. No. Sometimes he's sometimes, sometimes, so quiet and we just yeah. don't see him there. Rocking his Pope shirt. P-boy Fran. Love you. Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew. I will direct you to Joaquin Phoenix's um, acceptance speech at an award show where he talked about how he was, um, you know, um, like, a, not I don't know if he was doing what Pepe Le Pew was accused of doing, yeah. but he said that um, I was hard to work with. I was, you know, miserable. I w- he had a very bad reputation. And he said um, that he was given a second chance and he thinks that's so important. Yeah. And, um, and that because of that, Oh, he, he he said, don't cancel. Correct, don't cancel. Correct, don't cancel. An earlier podcast of ours. Um, and because of that, you can make somebody, instead of just, you know, locking them out of further interaction, you help them to be better people. And so I I am that Pepe Le Pew. I am the Joaquin Phoenix Pepe Le Pew. Okay, so you're the second chance Le Pew. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it comes I'm down Pepe, to... I'm Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> <laughs> it comes down to accountability, you know. Uh, I should say du. Because it's French. Is that how you say tune? Un, French? deux, trois, quatre, quatre, cent. <laughs> no, go ahead. Accountability. Yeah, there, right. There's a certain idea. And we had a whole cancel culture uh, episode. So you can go check that early one. Yes. Early. That yeah. was like, I think I might have been when we still had a single mic. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Who knows? But um, yeah, uh, it's, it's especially as Christians, right? Like the whole idea is forgiveness and, uh, and but also accountability. Yes. It's not. Oh, it's all good in the hood. Don't worry right. about it. It's uh, like Jesus with the casting of the stones. It, right. It's, hey, I forgive you. Go and sin no more. Right. You're forgiven. You will not get stoned. Yes. So that's that's uh, that's, that's that's accountability for you. Pepe, the second chance. But I have on 20 hats. Tw- oh, you know what? 20. That's we are, not French. We are getting to the end. It is Holy Week. It's Holy Thursday. It's Holy Thursday. And you are one hat away from completing your Lenten promise. Yes. Of I'm adding, going to miss it. That's what I was about to say. I'm going to miss it. I am like really. It's going to be like you're naked with one hat. I'm hearkening back to like, is it the Victorian era or, you know, when the women had the, either the very high wigs or the. Uh, um, yeah, the hats the high, and definitely feathers. the high wigs. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm actually liking it. I know I can't get in the car like this. I wouldn't fit or go in Rite Aid or. <laughs> You'd have to get a sunroof. But I. I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. It's a look. It, it, it's, yeah. it's especially not like sometimes it got a little weird with yeah. like a lot of party hats. But right. That is just that's like a headdress. Yeah, because you, you might you can't see, but like there's there's I don't know like f- fifteen maybe fourteen baseball yeah. hats under there. Yeah. But um, when you make it into a big package, and it makes it look <laughs> like there it might be a lot of hair under there. Yeah. No, but um, yeah, it's gonna be strange without the hats. Um, you can keep wearing them. I want to try something. At this point, it's bigger than your head. It is. <laughs> By a little... <laughs> it is. I don't know what airport security. What happens when you go? When then you... my final question about the hats, seeing how we're getting to the last two days. When you started this, yes, did you imagine it would be like this, or did you have something like else in your mind? Did I you th- think it was gonna get out of control? I kind of had, um, like. Uh, Take that hat and then the next party hat. Like I had a vision of like a, a, like a Dr. Seuss, like a, a balanced um, sort of and then going up and up, up and, and up. up out yeah, of frame. party uh, party hat situations. Um, so you're surprised that it just came together as yes, like sort of because it's it's we have 30 minute podcasts and um, to just to sit like I still have to sit a certain way, but I kind of have a freedom when it's not something that's completely ready to fall apart. Yeah. Hey, I'm I'm here like for it. it. Okay. 
But uh, anyway, it is. Let's not get the date wrong again because I know. yesterday we had no idea what day it was. No, we didn't. We had no idea what country we were, what no. who was president at the no. time. Um, today is the. F- you tell me. Fourteenth. It's the. F- it's the fourteenth, and the reason I know it's the fourteenth. You are correct. It is the 14th. It's a calendar. The reason I know it's the 14th is because it's Black Day. What is that? Okay. So in South Korea, okay, they have February 14th, which we know as Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Then they said March the, 14th. The inverse? No. It's still... So uh, February 14th is what we know it to be. Yeah. Sharing um, gifts of love. March 14th, which is, is the next month. Gifts of hatred? No, it's give. If, if you got a gift for Valentine's Day, you you're now going to give that gift back to the person who gave. Not not give that gift, but give a gift. It's reciprocal. Oh, it's reciprocal day. I like that. Okay, so they said um, uh, February fourteenth. You're going to give a gift to your sweetheart. March fourteenth, your sweetheart's going to give the gift to you. Well, people who don't have sweethearts said, well, "That's not fair." We so want- they made Gray Day. <laughs> they said Black Day is for singles in South Korea so that they can have their own little celebration on the 14th of the month that doesn't have to do with a, a romantic partner. Oh, okay. I was confused there. I thought that was Black Day. So we're talking February 14th. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. March 14th. White Day. White Day. Yes. Which is recipro- reciprocate. Yes. Day. And then April 14th, Black Day. Black Day. Uh, sweetheart, don't need you. I'm treat. It's so it's it's um it's treat like it parks, <laughs> parks and recreation. It's treat yourself day. Is it? Yeah, that's with um. I don't know any, like Amir. Yeah. Or what's his name? No, Azir Asani. Uh, Azir Asani. Something like this. And then the uh the woman. Yeah. But they had treat yourself day, and it was like any they would go out to the mall and stuff, and it was like, yeah. you think I should get this? Treat yourself. Yeah. So it's Black Day. Oh, uh, um, treat yourself day. Go out and treat yourself. The only thing I could see about black was that there is a black a black bean noodle dish that they eat, but but um you don't have to. I think it's you eat comfort food. You like yeah, you treat yourself. Yeah, I mean, but. It's Black Friday. Like, what does it really mean? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's Black uh, Black Friday. Now you have me saying that it is um Black Day South Korea, and maybe it'll catch on in America. Yeah, it should catch on. But if I think first, we would need um the reciprocal day. Yeah, on, but I, which don't I like think, that more. But really, because I feel that you are already doing that on on, no, on Valentine's Day. Yeah, uh, you can check our Valentine's Day podcast out and fact check me on this. But I remember saying I don't like that Valentine's Day is all about like uh, women, which but it's, it's not, not all about. But I'm saying how I'm just saying overall, just like you know, Christmas isn't all about Santa Claus, but it is. Why? Like, how often do you see women buying men flowers? A lot. Where are you going? They never buy me any. A lot, and um, but it, it, it I do. It, the concept is kind of funny because it, it's so Valentine's Day. You don't know. Should I get them something? Or are they going to get me something? If you don't, you know, you have that fallback of White Day to be like, well, I was just waiting. I was going to give it to you on March fourteenth. Yeah, and that's yeah, that's. I mean, it's still us guys still have it harder because like with recip- like it's so easy. Like I hate when. Uh, uh, someone's birthday falls right before your birthday. Yeah, and it's like they're gonna know exactly what to get you. It's easy because they're just gonna match the same genre of gift that right. you got them. So with the reciprocate day, it's like, all right, well, see how good you do on Valentine's Day, and then I'll see how I good don't I'll know. Do. I think you're in the past. There's, there's, there is no more. It's only the guys yes, having. It to is. Do. That's 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 not going away anytime soon. I don't know about that. Also, Dolphin Day. Dolphin day, smart animals. Perfume day. Perfume day. Smart sense. <laughs> smart sense. It's sense. sense. Good sense. Good sense. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't hey, know. Hey, hey, April 14th. It's exciting. We are we are just in spring. The weather's so nice outside. You know, we talked about, we talk about like spiritual winters and spiritual springs, but there's something just about spring. It's the, I think why spring is so nice. Cause I'm a summer guy. I love just the heat. Yeah. But. Walking outside on a warm day after just getting through a cold winter. Yeah. Let me tell you. It's I, something. I don't care. I just want to go to a one season place. Yeah. Well, you're probably wearing too much hats for the weather outside today. No, actually, it doesn't affect me in that way. Anyway, guys, it is Thursday, which is my favorite day of the week. It's the last Thursday of Lent. So, holy, so holy Thursday. Yes. Last Supper? Right. Great painting. We have a Last Supper painting somewhere Yeah, around. we do. The original. <laughs> yeah, don't don't come to our house. Um, so 
the Lent and especially the Holy Week and then, you know, yeah, Holy Week, really. Yeah. So you start Palm Sunday. You're going to you're going to quickly, you know, co- encapsulate the um, life of Jesus down into a week, which is not how it happened. Yeah. You know, so he's coming in um, and he's being he's being applauded with the palms on Palm Sunday. Yes. By Thursday, it's the Last Supper. By Friday, he's being crucified. Um, by Sunday, he's you know, rising from the dead. And so that's yeah the story that we're following. Now, uh, I might just be ignorant. Is there something specific you're supposed to do on uh, Thursday? I'm I don't know. Probably just, you know, uh, a prayer. I feel like when I was little, they actually gave bread out in the mass. Oh, uh, they would have a, commu- the a Thursday. Of, yeah, not like communion bread, but like uh, actual roll. Actual- you know, Ooh, because I could go for some rolls <laughs> right now. Uh, are communion hosts gluten free? No, they are not. They're not. No. Oh, so I don't take I don't take communion. You can um, say a prayer if you're unable to take communion for many reasons. People have swallowing problems and allergy yeah. problems and gluten and um, anything. You can say a prayer um, to say why you're not doing that. But you can also contact the church before you go. Tell them you need a gluten-free host they should be able to accommodate you but i mean this has to be you can't you can't go to the do it at 10 45 at the 11 o'clock mass yeah and it's probably like your congregation i mean it doesn't have to be i'm yeah. saying like where it's like they know like they might not even right. have it on standby exactly but they'd be happy to order it if it's right. if one of the people in their congregation right. are requiring right. gluten-free hosts so i never asked and i and i don't take so have you feel like you've been like pulled further away from God? Not at all. It's one of the thing. It's one of the rules yeah. that I was being facetious. I know. <laughs> it's one of the rules that I um I feel justified by God to realize that it's symbolic, and if you want to partake in it, there's a great sense of community. But if you if you're not going to partake in it, you're fine. Yeah, absolutely. I, th- I think it's um. Symbolism, like we talk about in all other aspects, and um, like with Lent, it's like with Lent, are you a bad person, or are you a bad Christian, or if your denomination celebrates it, to not give something up, right? And it's like, no, the point of giving something up is to give you more of a tangible, like, right, sacrifice. And so, yeah, with that, it, it's just a, a moment of tangibility, right? But it's it's just that it's yeah. it's it's like you know in Harry. No, I'm not gonna make a Harry Potter okay. reference. But <laughs> oh my god, a Christian say Harry Potter. Okay. The third Harry Potter okay. reference okay. I made today. Okay. Um. Anyway, guys. More importantly, nothing's more important than the host. Importantly, it is Thursday, which means we do a little something. Mm-hmm. We do a little something called walk through Thursday. Frank, roll the intro, please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. What is going on, guys? It is walk through Thursday. Your favorite day. My favorite day. Your favorite day. Your favorite day. All of our favorite days. What are we doing walk through Thursday? We walk. We walk. And talk. And talk. So come with us. <laughs> uh, how cool would that be? Just I know. We will one day. One, one day. On walk through Thursday, we open up the Bible. Bible is open. Once the Bible's open, we uh, peruse through every book and, and chapter, and we try to find just one verse, yeah. maybe two verses, yeah. and we look at it. We put it under a microscope and say, what's this verse all about? Yeah. What's the deeper meaning? You can read a story and say, well, I know what the meaning of the story is. Mm-hmm. Do you know what the meaning of the verse is? And it's, it's uh, the Bible's the living word, so there's there's power in every word of it. Yes. And so sometimes it's nice to not run through the Bible. Not, you know, skip through the Bible, yeah. but just slowly walk. You know what they say? They say, slow down, smell the roses. Right. And I think that's kind of what we do here on Walk Through Thursday. We slow down and smell the roses in one particular verse. And we just try to think about it. Other, um, when people, when there's preachers and, and um, pastors and speakers, they they do this behind the scenes. They do this off camera. Yes. And then they they if they if they usually do have partners that they talk over with yeah. and they um they formulate their sermon so yeah. they think okay this is the verse how do we think and they go over and over it we do it on air it, it, we do like when we read this right now we will be formulating just as we that's as true we you know we always talk about like uh as you know Christians we all have the same kind of link to God yes and so sometimes you'll go to church and be like. 
how do they get all of these like ideas like these sermons they are right. and so you might even sometimes be a little that kind of creates that uh power right. gap of like right well you know and i don't know and 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 this but this kind of walk through thursday idea is what opens your There's, mind you're sitting in with us creates yeah. sermons and and allows you to uh, make own, your own sermons in your right. head and, and be like and walk through your walk through your day and be like because that's how that's how people are coming upon the words they so confidently tell you later yeah they they read it they read the existing scripture and then they formulated an opinion and then they decided to present that to you yeah if you're not familiar you think that they know something you don't know yeah but it's just this it's walking through it exactly and uh the nicest thing about it just to end up before we get into it is you might get something different yeah. from it and that's what's also so nice about it it's great sometimes when you hear a formulated thought from someone speaking yes. you're like well that's what that means right when you're in that brainstorming process you can say oh well i'll get this and guess what you're you're right too it, it, it's, right. it's what it means to you and <clears throat> and is this just gonna be a walk through thursday about walk through thursday episode tennis <laughs> scr- tennis scripture right yeah um when we walk through it it is not filed in the filing cabinet now that is what genesis 1 1 meant yeah we can walk through genesis 1 1 again because it's the living word. We could get something different yeah. from it in October. Yeah. So again, if someone says that's not what Genesis 1-1 means, well, that's what it meant to me. And that's what it meant to me in March. Yes. Okay. Um, I wasn't not listening. I'm pulling up the verse. No, that's We're fine. going paperless around that's here. <laughs> so today we are reading out of the book of Romans. You know who wrote Romans? Paul. Paul, our favorite guy. We are reading Romans 12-20. Now, you might remember on yesterday's podcast, we talked a lot about enemies. Yes. And by a lot, I mean the entire episode was, was about enemies. One word Wednesday. And so whilst perusing the verses of enemies, I saw one that got stuck out to me. And I'm like, you know what? Let's have an enemies week because I've got a lot of enemies. And Jesus um, was facing his enemies at this time. The Last Supper, they were not far. He was he was informing the apostles. Yeah. The enemies are... Yeah. the enemy. There's an enemy at this table at the moment. Yeah. And then tomorrow... Obvi- obviously is the enemies are going to come and get me yeah so it's okay romans twelve twenty. on the contrary if your enemy is hungry feed him if he is thirsty give him something to drink in doing this you will heap burning coals on his head gets a little aggressive at that's the end. one way yeah so let's talk about it okay let's just talk about the beginning first and uh we'll save the burning coals uh for the end because who knows what that means? <laughs> we do. No. Um. So if your enemy is hungry, if he is thirsty, give him something to drink. Mm-hmm. Now, my first reaction is, why would I do that? Yeah. If my enemy is hungry and needs something to drink, good. That's just, that's, that's his weakness will make it so that he can't attack me anymore. Right. Um. That's. That's that's understandable that you would think that. And also, uh, it could it could not just be my enemy is thirsty and he needs a drink it could be really my enemy needs something and if i'm able to give it to him i'm giving it to him yeah mm-hmm. yeah doesn't have to be food and drink only. oh no yeah. it, it, it's saying yeah it, it's just kind of saying like you're not holding on to right a hatred where right. it's like i hope you perish like right uh like even if it's separated from you it's not even like you're in a fist of cuffs yeah and it's like oh why am i gonna help you when you're down it's you could just be minding your own business and have a passive enemy, right. which I feel like sometimes in our hearts can happen. We're like, yeah. uh, that person, you see something bad happen to them. You're like, good. Yeah. And, and it's, it's that idea of not having that love in your heart for them. Yeah. And so um, we talked about, I mean, yesterday's podcast was really the nitty gritty of this, mm-hmm. but it's just, it, it just comes down to that idea of not letting human emotion get between like your soul and your love for another person and um because it's very easy to do and it's like uh i saw one video of this guy they they were just having a little bit of a a little bit of a a pushing match in the subway and um they were kind of throwing fists the one person falls under the tracks oh no yeah immediately the other person stops and then they, they go and they start to try to rescue okay, them out. Right, right. And it, it was, it's this, like, obviously they also didn't want to have the liability of the person dying. Yeah. But there was just a sense of like, 
I didn't want a simple. Right. Let's look, we talked about fire a lot. Yes. You know, like a simple fire. It, it's not the same as like that's your enemy. Wish peril on them. It's yes. like okay. It, it was not that deep. I want to help you. Right. I don't have hatred for you. We got into a little because even after it wasn't like. They pushed each other away. It was right. like, it kind of was a reminder of, yeah. wait a second, I don't hate you. I know. It's funny you should say that. Um, you know, I was thinking that about um, Will Smith and and um, Chris Rock. Yeah. And Will was so mad at Chris because Chris said something he didn't like. And so he he smacked him in the face. Uh, I should say hit him in the face. Smacked sounds too soft. And um, and it's like, maybe they'll make up. Maybe they won't. And um, Gilbert Gottfried died. <sighs> He did. Gilbert Godfrey died. When the whole Chris Rock, sorry, we're, we're staying on track, but when the whole Chris Rock thing happened, I was wondering how Gilbert Godfrey felt or what he would say about it because Gilbert Godfrey, um, obviously, he was a controversial comic and he got canceled yeah. at one time and lost a big endorsement for the insurance company. Anyway, I was like, I wonder, because I watched the documentary about Gilbert Godfrey. Um, anyway, uh, God bless, he, you know, he, he passed on. He had a, um, he had a disease. And... Um, I thought to myself about Chris and Will, if Chris Rock died mm. right now, if he had died that night or yeah. not, not from the hit, you know, he yeah. the same thing, yeah. he had a heart attack, he'd get hit by a car. How bad? Yes. Will, because you always think I have time, you know, or like that wasn't that important. Yeah. So like what you're saying, like they were fighting, but he didn't want him to get by a train. Like these, you know, these, these two comedians are fighting, but he doesn't want, um, or he would just how bad he would feel if, if that, yeah. if he would die. Um, so yeah. I don't know why I went there. No, that, that, okay. that's, I'm, I'm happy you went there because exactly that. Like, so we sometimes get caught in just this earthly world. And we, so it, it's the exact same thing as the subway situation where it's like, you can get yourself in these spirals and like you're burning up. And then it's t- like sometimes something so drastic happens that right. reminds you of like, it was never that deep. Like, right. I didn't hate you. And it's right. like, you were, you were letting these emotions take the best of you, but that was never what was, and I think that's like what comes into your heart and your soul. Right. And so, preemptively, before the idea of needing that to be the reminder, yeah, it's that's what the, the, these verses are about. That's what you're practicing. It's kind of telling you, like, you, you we're, we are not people that are made for hatred. Right? Yeah. Like, if we truly believe we're God's children, it means we're vessels of love. Right. And so, this is to say. Know that that is what's in your heart and soul, and, yeah. and don't let your earthly body be corrupted by something that is going to, you know, go against right. what what you kind of like God wants for us. Which is no, it's really true. Um, I I I I knew somebody once, and I, I was I was uh, regular to them. I was civil and and um, cordial. Yeah. And, you might say kind they turned out to be um quite a little bit of a backstabber towards me once i found that out i told a different friend i said i, I regret being nice to them like yeah. little did i know and and my friend said never regret you being the person that you are yeah or you know that when you, if you're acting appropriately never think that because you, you don't want to match the energy of something yeah. that you 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 were not approving you're, you're being hurt by yeah, no, I, exactly. Um, I, I'm, I'm trying to think if this is a comparable thing. So yeah, so I mean, I think that's exactly how you're you're meant to live your life with, is with this idea of don't regret doing the good things. Like, right? I was talking to um someone about like a significant other, and it was like they were they were disloyal and it's like, I regret being so loyal for those years. Right. And it's like, well, why? Because right. you have a clear conscience. Right. You're okay. And like, it's, it, you should never like, you might feel like, Oh, I was such a fool and stuff, but it's like, how could you, how could you be a fool for doing the right thing? Right. And, and it, like being who you, being you, who you are, being who you are. Yeah. And ex- exactly. And it's like, that is much more valuable than the, right idea of revenge or matching that energy right you know what michelle obama says when they go low we go high that's right all right i think it's about time it's the due time that we talk about this burning coals well it's okay so it sounds crazy you will heap burning coals on his head if you it's do saying good to your enemy. you know what don't hate your enemy be nice to him that way you're heaping burning coals on his head and then i'm like wow yeah yeah that's a plot twist that's yeah. that's what what yeah. so what so the funny <laughs> thing about it is 
um, we read this in yesterday's podcast when we were listening to Enemies versus, And we hesitated. And we cut it out. Yeah. I, I cut oh, it, you, you cut it out. I okay. cut it out because I'm like, I don't know what that means. Okay. And it's kind of going against what the general topic. And that's the that's the purpose of these Walkthrough Thursdays as well. Right. Is the fact that I read something in the Bible. It seemed aggressive. And I was ready to just be like, like, if someone sees that by itself, it's like, oh, this is this is weird. Yeah. But then but once, you, once you... It's contradictory. Once you look more into it, it it's not that. Okay. So I was a little this written that down. So heaping burning coals is a reference to Proverbs 25, 21 to 22, seen right here. And in Egypt, there was a custom to carry a pan of burning coals on one's head as a sign of repentance. Oh. So what, what this is basically saying is like kindness and forgiveness to those who abuse us will make them repent or, or be ashamed. And not in like ashamed in a bad way, but. That will actually bring more attention. Yes. That they they did you wrong than if you fight back, you cheat on them, you you flatten their tires. Yeah. Yeah, and um, so yeah, so it, it, uh, Egypt, you do it to yourself. Like, okay, I'm repenting. You know, sometimes safely. You like, yeah, you're like, saying you're not burning yourself. I think it's hot. I think it's like it's, like, like, it's like a bucket. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's like okay. heavy mm-hmm. and like it might be a little hot, but yeah. But the idea is. We talked about, you know, hate begets hate, right? Yes. And so we also talked about Martin Luther King yesterday. Mm-hmm. And I want to bring him up because that's the idea, right? Where it's like... Light drives out darkness. Light not drives darkness. out darkness. Mm-hmm. And so with, when Martin Luther King had these peaceful protests and stuff, and the enemies were, you know, spraying them with fire hoses yes. and stuff. Now looking back, it's like there's so much shame in, in even, like, right. even like a group of people of like, how could should you do that? And it was all comes from this idea of uh, I put up a quote of Martin Luther King's yesterday that was like, um, never let someone else like allow you to make your heart hate butchered that it's right here. OK, but it's just the idea of yeah. don't let that fire like be started. And then what's going to come from that? Why am I feeding yes. the hungry? Why am I loving a man who hates me? And it's like because that is going to cause them to be like. Why am I doing this? Right. The fact that if Chris Rock did something back, there would be a Will Smith and Chris Rock feud. Right. Now. And then there'd really be sides. And there, and there mm-hmm. would really be sides. And, and it would say, oh, yeah, ooh, Chris Rock, ooh, Will Smith. They might right. put some diss tracks against each other. Right. Now there is, and that's what you saw in the apologies. There's such a shame from Will mm-hmm. Smith because it's like, why did I do that? And right. why did I do that? Because Chris Rock walked away from it. Right. He said, you don't have to kick him out. Right. And now Will Smith is sitting there in shame because it's yeah. like, there wasn't that back and forth hatred. There right. wasn't that fight. It was, hey, listen, yeah. I'm not mad at you and you're mad. Because yeah, just as a little finishing up, it is true. Like, did you ever get mad at someone and they immediately just aren't mad back? Right. And then you're like, Oh, like, or like if yeah. you assume there's going to be a fight. Right. And you're like, you just start off heavy and then they're just not, they're, they're, they're cool, calm and collected. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm kind of embarrassed. Yeah. I'm kind of embarrassed for losing my cool there. I know. When. Yeah. They even say if, if you're fighting, um, you know, if you have a tendency, if you're shouting, I'm going to shout yeah. and we're going to raise our voices. And and I heard this thing like as every time you raise your voice, I lower mine. Yeah. And, you know, to deescalate it. Yeah. Um. So. That's that's the idea. I just want to say one thing. Uh, in the Ten Commandments, there's yes. one that says, um, "Don't bear false witness against your neighbor." Yeah. And I just it just popped in my head right now because when I always heard that, I always think you have a nice neighbor. Don't lie on them. Don't, um, you know, yeah. don't tell a story about them. But if everyone's your neighbor, if that would include your enemy, and that would go with what we're saying because um, don't bear like you might have a grudge against somebody, or they might be your enemy, or they did something to you. And in a way to get them back, you could you could um, you could tell a fake story about yeah. them, or like you could, you know you could yeah. be like yeah I think I think he's the one that stole your trash can. Um, I don't know. Today I'm just saying stuff out of left field. No, <laughs> but uh, the podcast is coming to an end. But the one thing I want to talk about is all of these things. Yesterday's and today's podcast. You know what? It always just keeps making me think of the twenty third Psalm. Okay. When it was um prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Oh yes. And you'd always say like, why are my enemies there? But with this idea of like, especially you're at a table and so like you are, you're feeding your enemies. And it's this idea of, oh, right. of you are like, you don't have hatred toward them. You'll feed them and then they'll feel the, the burning coals right. in their head because it's like. You want to you you have pre- clean hands. You yeah. are prepared a table and you're, yet you're in front of your enemies. And it's like, yeah, and I'll feed them. Right. 
I don't know. Something to think about. But that is Holy Romans Thursday. 1220, guys. We Holy Thursday. All of that. We will be back tomorrow for Dr. Seuss Friday. It's a shame we're not reading Cat in the Hat. Because it's your last hat there. There could be a cat under here. There could be a cat I have my there. last one. 21st hat. Um, tune in on YouTube so you can see what I look like. Tune in on YouTube. Go to Instagram. You know, check out the polls. We're, we're still going strong with that. Croak and Crow. At Croak and Crow. Peace.